Hey FFA members, I hope this finds you well. I sincerely hope you guys are staying healthy through this. I wanted to show you a little bit about my supervised agriculture experience. So outside you can see, you can see right here, these are my two horses. That's Spartan and Hope is right over here. She's coming up to the door. There she is. So these are my two miniature horses. All right, so you guys can see that I have both horses outside in their little pen. So before I let them go, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about each horse. So right here, this is Hope. Hope is a 10 year old chestnut miniature horse. She is trained in Liberty. So she bows for me at shows. Um, Liberty within a horse show just means that your horse can listen to you and follow you without being on a leash or a halter. Um, and so it's a really nice connection and it shows the connection between you and your horse. So right here, this is my other miniature horse, Spartan. As you can see, um, he is super lovable and affectionate towards everyone. Um, Spartan is also a 10 year old horse. He is a Silver Bay Pinto miniature horse. I use them for science fair. So if you guys have seen my science fair boards, um, these are the two horses that I use for this year's project. Um, this year I tested their shoulder angle um, and how that affects their ability to go over an equine um, jump. And so I use Spartan and Hope both for that. All right guys, so right here you can see Spartan. He's This is what he does when he relaxes. He likes to roll around outside in the field. Uh, Miss Hope over here, they like to run around and play. Um, this is just some things, you know, horses do. All what they're doing right now is completely normal. Um, these two have been with each other since they were born, so they like to be together and play around with each other. So I want to show you guys a little bit about the care that goes into the miniature horses that I just showed you. A lot of people say, um, when I first was getting miniature horses, a lot of people said to me, they're a lot of work. Um, for me, I found that completely different, um, but miniature horses, these two guys out here that you just saw, they eat, here, let me show you. they eat about one pound, so you can see the little line up top, they eat about one pound, they're on Purina strategy, um, and then they get that morning and night, they also get half a flake of alfalfa hay, um, morning and night as well, um, in the winter time, I like to feed them two flakes a day um, just to keep the weight on. It's harder to see um, a horse's weight in the wintertime because miniature horses, their fur is about an inch thick in the wintertime. Um, the other aspect of caring for these horses is every day these stalls get mucked out. Um, their water gets replaced, stuff like that. Um, as you can see, they're not in there right now because they're outside in their little pasture that we have. Yeah, she's nothing but country.